Hi everyone, welcome back to my little corner where I design, create, and craft ideas to share with you. Today's video, I'm going to share with you how I made these cute little creations and so much more. For the materials, we'll need some building blocks, either Jenga or the ones from the Dollar Tree, some wooden beads, pearls, you can use any kind of beading of your choice. Then we'll need some jute rope, some golden wire, and some silver wire. We'll be using some wood glue for this project. We're going to give our little glue gun a break for now. And to start out our Christmas tree, we're going to use this little block that you can get in a package of uh, several of them at the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure how many. But anyways, we're going to use this little square as our foundation. We're going to start by gluing two of our blocks onto it and then the rest of the blocks side by side. I'm creating this tree to show you how I created the other three trees. This one I'm making it a little bit more on the narrow side and single layered. So what I mean by single layered is that on the other three I glued two blocks together and then I did this process. Here I'm going to show you really quick. I'm going to pause it so that you can see the double layers and that makes these trees stand on their own without me having to glue them onto anything or glue anything in the back so that they can stand. I'm going to start with the small tree. I'm going to use the silver wire with the pearls and basically we're just going to latch it on to the very bottom of one of the legs of the tree and then just randomly add pearls as many as you want and as random as possible and then whatever wire is left over just wrap it around the tree and that's it pretty much there is no uh, pattern to this no specific way of doing it I made these trees with the thought of hanging them up on my Christmas tree when the time came around. I was going to make several more, but in the end I decided to decorate them and put them here in my little corner where Nomi sits. And they look cute. They came out so gorgeous. Note here how I'm threading the wire through that pearl. It's because I want to lock it in place. Then I'm going to go ahead and add several more beads and then thread the last one and lock all those pearls in that one section in particular. So after adding all the pearls that I wanted, I just went ahead and wrapped the remaining of the wire and ended up right where I started and just give it one last wrap and it's done. It came out really cute. Here I'm just painting a couple of those wooden beads with some territorial beige paint just to make sure they're dry by the time I get to my medium sized tree. For this large tree, we're gonna use the gold wire with the wooden and natural beads we're going to go ahead and do the same process, wrap it around one of the legs, add the beads, then just continuously wrap and beat and wrap and beat. Okay guys, we all know what the process is, so I didn't film the medium sized tree, but instead of using wire for it, I used a jute rope and those little beads that I painted. Then I just added these little snowflakes and they turned out really cute. For this next project, we're gonna use a variety of paints, a paintbrush, and for the first time ever, some of this Waverly wax, which I totally fell in love with. Then some floral foam, some terracotta pots, and popsicle sticks. I already pre-cut one set of these popsicle sticks, and I'm just going to use them as templates for my next set. I'm going to make two Christmas trees out of these popsicle sticks. I can't really give you measurements because basically what I did is I grabbed the first popsicle stick, 
I cut it in the middle in a slanted way. Then what I did with the second popsicle stick, I used that same first cutout as a template. Then what I did is I slid it down just a tad and that would determine that my next branch is gonna be a tad shorter. <laughs> And pretty much that's the same process I used for the following popsicle sticks. I used the previous cutout, slide it a tad down, cut it down, and this is how they turned out. I think they came out really cute. So to glue the tree as is, I used another popsicle stick, I added a generous amount of glue and then just laid it over the slit and pretty much that did the trick. We're gonna use a skewer stick to insert these trees into my terracotta pots. So what I did is I cut it in half and glued it to the back of the tree. Trees are done. I'm just adding more hot glue over my skewer sticks to secure them down. To stain my tree with this Waverly wax paint that I got, I'm gonna use these cosmetic sponges. I did grab a little bit. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the color, but I did, I fell in love with it. So I went ahead and poured some onto my plate and stained both of my trees. All done, now I'm just gonna set them to the side. Meanwhile, I'm gonna prep my little terracotta pots by adding some of this foam and adding some ribbon to my Christmas trees. Then I added some filler so that it can give that snow effect. And then I added some uh, jute rope onto the terracotta pots. And that's one style. I think it came out cute. So I'm adding this territorial beige paint to make the project, the actual project that I was um, going for. And I did add a little bit more of the white because I thought it was just a little bit too brownish. Then I added some of this moss and some rocks to give it that snow effect. For this next project, as you can tell, I'm making a frame. I used some of those building blocks that I used for the tree. I used four to build one full stick and then I made four full sticks out of those blocks. And now I'm just gluing these sticks together to form that frame. This frame was inspired by a smaller version that I made off of camera and I used it as a prop on my last upload. So now we're just gonna cut out my shelving grip material. I've had this for about two years. I actually bought it to add it onto my shelves, but I ended up using some other material. So I figured one day I'll make something with it. <laughs> 
and voila this is what we're using it for so after cutting that shelving grip material i did wait a couple of minutes more for this to dry up i don't want it to fall apart while i'm staining my frame Now I'm just adding that shelving grip material to the back of my frame. Then I am going to cut out one of the snowflakes from a garland of snowflakes that I got from the Dollar Tree and glue it on to the front part. Right, we're almost done with this video I'm gonna go ahead and glue a snowflake onto this Christmas tree I like the way it sticks out and then I bought several of these other Christmas trees here and I'm just gonna use one for this project I'm gonna add a small dab with a snowflake on there because I might recycle this tree This is what they're gonna look like after I hang them up here in my little corner. So therefore I need to add a piece of jute string in the back. Make sure it doesn't show. I want a flawless hanging from these pieces. And they turned out really cute. So you see the smaller version on top that says blessed. I made that one off camera, but I thought it was such a great idea that I can make it again in a bigger version and share it with you guys, share the materials so that you can see how it was made and perhaps inspire you to make your own. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.